So guys, there is a way to make your room of requirement a much, much bigger area. And today I will explain all. So the room of requirement is your home within Hogwarts. And well, it's a place you'll come to an absolute ton. And while I've seen a lot of complaints of the place just not being big enough, I mean, a lot of people want to put down multiple planting stations, brewing stations, potion stations, this and the other. And while the actual main area just isn't big enough. And yes, we know there is an off room down there, but did you guys know you can make this off room much, much bigger, almost double in size? And today I will explain all guys what now have your attention. If you do enjoy this video, leaving a like really helps out. And if you like what you see and want to see more, be sure to subscribe. Okay, so as you can see, this room is absolutely humongous, but it doesn't start off this way. There's a way of making this room this big. Okay, so it took a little bit of figuring out because I didn't actually realize, I knew the room was there, but I never went down there. And just out of the blue, I just went down there, guys, and the room expanded, and you're seeing this on screen now. Now, I've asked more people on my Discord, I've asked a few friends, and we've come to the conclusion of how you actually get this room to open up much, much bigger. I thought it was tied to the beasts. I thought at first it was tied to the Phoenix. Uh, once you catch the Phoenix for Deke in a quest line for him, that this room would open up. But that isn't the case. I've had people confirm that they've got the Phoenix and that room isn't opened up. I've got people confirm that the room's opened up and they don't have the Phoenix. So it ain't tied to the Phoenix Rising quest line for Deke. I have come to the conclusion though that it is tied to the main story quest line and to basically do this guys you need to complete the quest of in the shadow of revelation this means you have to defeat ranrock who is basically guys the main last boss in this game upon you doing this come down to this room guys and you'll see this room will expand for you now i ain't 100 certain on this point but i do know completing the game will do this for you but I would like you guys to try and let me know if you've got the grab horn. The grab horn comes from a mission called, uh, let me just go into my quests. I know the actual part of that mission is the Lord of the Shore, but I'm pretty certain it is a part of uh, the Sandbaker's Trial. So within the Sandbaker's Trial, you will need the grab horn. It's where you first get the grab horn. Um, and then from that point, you'll have him as a mount. If you bring the grab horn back, to your vivarium guys and try put him into one of your vivariums i put him in with my phoenix upstairs try here try then see if this room opens up for you after that point before you've beat the last few missions of the game if not then it's definitely tied to defeating ramrock the last boss and completing in the shadow of revelation but yes this this room is absolutely staggeringly big i mean you can put so much in here now it's easily the biggest space here so yes, enjoy that guys. But yes, if you need more space within your room of requirement, this is what you've got to do. Now, if you're just curious and watching this video because you want to know how to expand upon the room requirements in regards to getting the four vivariums and this that, and the other, it's basically tied to Deke. Now you'll first get a notification from Professor Weasley about the room of requirement quest line, which you'll see right here. And this is basically where you first get the room of requirement. And I believe you first start doing main missions for Deke. Now these are all scrambled up. I don't know why they're all scrambled up. I'd wish they were in order. It'd be easy for me to find things. But the room of requirement is there. So once you do this, you'll get then get a few missions for uh, Deke. And I believe the first one may be the Elf, the Nabsack and the Loom, where you help him uh, go out and battle against poachers and save beasts. Upon you doing this, you come back to the room of requirement and he opens up your first vivarium for you upon doing this there's a few more missions for him uh phoenix rising i believe is the last one you do directly for him which uh comes after i know the foul of the dead the foul of the dead is one where you go out and tame a couple of festrals and he teaches you to breed and all about that good stuff so yeah i think that one is before the phoenix rising the phoenix rising is the last one i believe you do for him and you go and rescue the phoenix you come back and he then opens up the fourth room for you so between the uh alf the knapsack and the loom and uh, phoenix rising if you follow his quest line you will get all four vivariums and well some of some of these quest lines are tied to the main story so if you've just finished one quest line for him and the other one hasn't popped up 
uh, just complete and keep getting on with the main quest line and also these things are tied to your level too so make sure you're leveling up at the same time and eventually guys Deke will call you or leave you or send you an hour post or you'll just get a notification within your quest that he's got another quest for you come back to him speak to him and he should have more quests for you until you do phoenix rising and there it is guys it really is as simple as that but yes this is the room requirement and how you can expand up on it i'm not sure if that room down there is anything it could do i'm not sure but we will see maybe if i fill up that room down there fill up this room here with more stations i just need money people i need money but guys i appreciate you stopping by if you did leave in a like it really helps out if you like what you see and want to see more Hogwarts Legacy, be sure to subscribe and hopefully my beautiful people, I will see you on that next one.